What's up beautiful creators? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna talk about backpacks. I have a lot of backpacks here and I kind of just wanted to go through all the ones I have, why I purchased the backpacks that I did. Um, I recently won two backpacks from Peak Design for a contest. Drum roll. Ellie, oh, you're a drum roll person, come on. <laughs> There you go. Boom. Number four, Brittany Butler. And so I just want to kind of sit with you guys, talk about them, uh, my thought process. I'm thinking about getting rid of some of them, what backpacks you guys have, and, you know, just kind of get into it. So let's get started. So my long-term backpack that I had been using before I got any other backpacks, I bought this a while ago when I was first looking for one. It was the Low Pro 350. Um, they also have an option to get the 450, but I got the 350 because the thing with backpacks for me is I'm so small. And so I really don't want to have too much on my back. So I got the 350. This is kind of how it looks. Um, and there were a couple reasons why I love this backpack. Uh, first, the thing that drew me to it was it was all black. And as you can see, it's pretty minimalistic and simple as far as design. Like it doesn't have anything on the front. It did come with attachments. So if I wanted to add attachments, I could. But I like that it didn't really have too, too much in the front because the bag that I had before this one was a Canon bag. It had the Canon word on it and all these pockets. And I just felt like, and the bag got stolen. And so I wanted something that didn't necessarily look too much like a camera bag. Um, and so that's why it drew me to this. And also for the simple fact that this is more of like a super sturdy, you know, durable bag that will be good for like hiking and traveling. And at the time I was traveling a lot. And so I wanted a bag that was going to offer me that. Um, and so it does have like the small pouches for you to put smaller things on. Um, again, it does have attachments that came with it. So if I wanted to attach anything, I could. It has super easy access all around the bag to get to your equipment fast. So I was super in love with the top part portion of it because as you open up just the top part, as you can see, you have like the zipper where you can put, again, small knickknacks and then easy, easily get to whatever it is that you need to get to. And of, of course you can compartmentalize however way you see fit. Um, and then as well as you see on the side of the bag, you can kind of open it up and get to, you know, your camera or whatever lens um, that you have that you need to get to quickly. So I really like the aspect of that. Um, another thing that I liked was the back. Again, I'm so small and normally I'm always carrying like so much equipment in my bags, especially when I'm traveling. I'm from St. Louis, but I live in LA. So when I travel back home, I travel with ma basically majority of my equipment that needs to go into this bag. Drones, cameras, lenses, mics, monitors, whatever it is. And so it could be wear and tear on my little old back. And so I love the foam aspect of it. Um, it was really, it just feels really good on my back. Um, and so I love the aspect of it. Again, it's all black. Um, and then the straps are so tight, so sturdy. So I feel like it's not gonna fall off, right? So um, it also has like the clip to where you can clip it onto yourself for a like tighter, more robust uh, structure. And so I really, really like that aspect of it as well. Um, and then it is waterproof. So, you know, rain, sleet, snow, whatever it is, we get all four seasons for all four seasons in St. Louis. So whatever it is, this worked really, really great for me. I've had this bag for a couple of years um, and I really love it. It was like my first baby, my first real equipment backpack. So another bag that I did have was this baby. This is the camera bag. And so as you can see, this bag is completely different than from the low pro bag. Like this is not really like one of those travel, get dirty kind of bags. At this point when I wanted this bag, it was because I wanted a, a nicer looking bag. So I went for this bag, it's, it's pretty big. Um, and there's a couple things that I like about this bag. Of course, as you can see the difference already is it has a lot of compartments early on in the front. It looks like a regular backpack. You know, it doesn't look like a camera bag whatsoever, which I loved. But you know, it has like three different compartments on the front that you can get to. This one, this is the second, and then this is the third. I love that. And then another thing that I like that um, is that the computer compartment is completely separate from 
everything else about the bag. So it has its own compartment in the back that you can kind of get to where you can put your computer in as well as whatever accessories. So, and that's what I didn't like about the Low Pro bag was that the computer was still inside the bag with everything else. And so in order to pull my computer out, I would have to open up my bag to where you saw all of my equipment. So if I was in an airport or anything like that and I needed to just pull out my computer, you will see all the equipment in my bag, which can cause for security issues or anything like that. So I didn't like that the, you know, this is literally the computer compartment, but I had to open up the bag to get to it. That's what I liked about the camera. It was that, the computer is in the back and it's completely separate from all of your other equipment and you know so just for security measures since i travel alone that was very important to me so it's like in the back and then you don't see anything i love that um i also love that it has like just this little piece here to where you can kind of like connect it onto your suitcase as you're traveling to where you know like this i didn't really have that with the low pro and so i just kind of like that it's easy to travel with um you have all your compartments again before you even have to open up your bag you have your side compartment where you can put your phone in or i put my little uh joby tripod in and then when you actually get into the bag and then the leather is amazing i love the leather it's beautiful it makes it very professional um and then when you get into your bag you have all of your compartments of course which i love and then as well as you know your zipper and extra compartments as well so i really just like this for the simplicity of it all black leather it made it really professional but classy which was like very different like i don't know why i got another black bag because the camera actually comes in three different colors but i love black and so for me I still thought it was different because I have this black leather classy bag as opposed to this rugged travel style uh, bag that I would take when I'm doing like, you know, more gritty things. And so that was the difference on why I chose the bags. Now, um, recently, I just won two bags from Peak Design for a contest that I did along with some other equipment. Thank you so much, Peak Design. And I decided because I had already had the Low Pro and the camera to go for two completely different types of bags, kind of. So the first bag that I decided to go for that I've actually been using, and I haven't even been using my Low Pro because this one is very similar to my Low Pro. So I haven't even been using my Low Pro, which I think I'm actually going to get give away for a contest. But I've been using this Peak Design bag which I am in love with. <laughs> this one is the Everyday Peak Design. Um, and the reason why I love this is one, it's way smaller than the Low Pro and the other bag. Like it's just a little bit smaller, which I love. Um, and the reason why I love this bag is it just feels so much more sturdy and just tight on me. It just feels right. It's not too big. Um, I love that it has handles on the side of the bag for it, for me to be able to hold. Because I want a couple of other things with Peak Design, I actually attach a couple of things on there to just make being able to have my camera easily more accessible. Um, so the first thing, again, it has, it doesn't have anything in the front, of course, so it's kind of very much like the Low Pro, which doesn't have anything in the front of the bag, but it does have side pockets um, for like your iPhone or small knickknacks and things like that. When you open it up, it has three different zippers. Um, and so when you, you can open it up from the top to where you only need to access the top of it, which is cool. Again, very similar to the Low Pro. It has your little compartment in the front for the zipper, and then you can get to whatever is at the top of your bag. But also, if you wanted to, you can then open it up from the side like this and then get to all your compartments. See, I kind of got my compartments a little bit messed up because I've been everywhere with this bag and I've been trying to change it to figure out how I want to compartmentalize things. But even inside, you have your compartments, how you want them to go, but then you also have like little small sections and little pockets inside of the bag for other things. Um, so I just really like this bag. Again, this is the bag that I've been using since I got it. And it was really hard because I got to choose whatever two bags that I wanted. And it was hard with choosing this one because it was another bag that they had that I really, really enjoyed. But after looking at reviews, I opted for this one. And I've been in love with it. It has a lot of, the, again, it has a lot of different connection connectors for you to connect to make it so much more easier. Um, 
And I just love that. And I think this one is waterproof as well. I've already gotten it dirty and I've only used it like a couple times, but I'm really in love with this bag and I can foresee that this being like my main go-to bag, especially when I'm traveling and things like that since it's very similar to the Low Pro, um, but it does have like those pockets that I need. And so I love this bag. It's small, it's durable, it's, this is a really amazing bag. And it's different color. This is the first time you're seeing me with a completely different color. It's not black. So this is my third bag and I love it. That's the Peak Design Everyday, Everyday Backpack. And then the last one that I got, which is completely different than all of my bags, is another Peak Design. This is one of the uh, other free ones that I got. And this one is the Everyday Sling. Now, I went for the 10 liter, but I really wish I would've got the six because I kinda want something a lot smaller. Um, this isn't as big. I think the, the Everyday is 13 liters. I think the Low Pro is about 15 maybe. So they're all different sizes, but I wanted to go with something small, especially since this is a sling. I figured that with it being a sling and being different, um, this would be for just like smaller shoots. If I just have a photo shoot, one camera, one additional lens, something like that. Um, which is why I wanted to go for the six liter because I'm like, I just want something small that can kind of be behind me when I'm doing like a super small shoot or just the everyday go to Venice and shoot around, things like that to where I don't need any big backpack or I'm not doing any like professional kind of things. And so I, I, I want to kind of switch this out and get the six, but this is the 10 liter. Um, and so I haven't used it just yet because I've been trying to like, you know, ship it off back to them. But what I do like about it right off the back is it's a sling. So it's completely different than my backpacks, it, you know, and I love that aspect of it. I think you should try to have a variety if you're going to have a lot of backpacks. Why have a, all these big backpacks when there may be a time where you just need a small one? But already you have, you know, the zipper in the front where you can easily access what you need to access. And then as you open it, you already have your compartments. Again, I haven't used it, so everything is still in there. But like I said, the reason why I chose this is for super small, everyday, casual shooting around. So I would most likely put a camera, a lens, and maybe a drone. You know, something super simple. They also have a kind of like, I think you could fit a 13 inch in here, but if not, I'm for sure that you could fit like an iPod, iPad in here. Um, and so like if you wanted to go to Venice to take pictures and then you and your friends wanted to go to a cafe or coffee shop Just to play around with the photos or you did like a little quick photo shoot you can have your iPad or a 13 inch um, And that's what it is. It has a handle in the back so that you have access to just hold and Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. It doesn't give you a lot But I didn't really want it for a lot <laughs> So it's an everyday carry bag, which is great. So even if I just wanted to use it for other things that I could, but again, it can hold two lenses and the camera with the lens. It can, you can stack your lenses. Uh, I can also just like keep the camera outside with the peak design as uh, accessories that I want, and then even have room to put more into it. So, but yeah, I like that it's a, a shoulder backpack. I just kind of love that and I didn't really have it. So. For me, with both of these backpacks, I wanted something different than what I had already had, which was the Low Pro and the camera being what they are. And I also have a Pelican case. So for me, I feel like I cover all my ends on backpacks. So uh, let me know your thoughts. Let me know what backpacks you guys are using. And if you have any questions about any of these backpacks, please, please, please let me know. I didn't go into depth about them specifically. Um, but it more so talked about like why I use them, why I purchased them, why I like them. Um, they're all great. I've had the Low Pro for three years and it's been great thus far. Again, the, the pro to that backpack is the foam aspect of it. It just keeps everything feeling good on your back, which is what you want. Um, and then again, it's really rugged. And so you don't have to worry about like trying to keep it clean or, you know, it not being able to be well kept or get through you know your tough hikes or things like that where you need more of a rugged style you know backpack the camera for the females that you know want something that's just more classy and you know you do photo shoots and not necessarily video and you just want it to look classy and nice and a little more upscale and not like a 
camera backpack or a photo back a video backpack the camera is amazing um, again they come in three different colors and then you have the peak design which a lot of people use a lot of creators and they you have so many options for the peak design this is just, these are just two out of probably like 10 to 12 options so these just worked for me so again I'm small I like to get smaller bags but still can punch enough in there so yeah thank you guys so so much for watching if you have any questions please let me know let me know what backpack you guys are using and I'll see you all again in the next video